Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today I thought I would go ahead and do a review of the Carity Posh palette. So if you guys are interested in seeing some swatches, hear my review and thoughts, keep on watching. Okay, so this video today, I wanted to share the Carity Posh palette. Um, Carity is a brand that I'm pretty new with and looking into. Uh, I have seen their other palettes. They had one that was like a peach one. They had a unicorn one. So we'll go ahead and I'll be getting into some swatches here, but here is what the palette looks like. Now, right off the bat, it looked so familiar to me the way the palette is, which yeah, it's going to get real messy. It's that same material that Anastasia Beverly Hills uses, you know, that uh, velvety material, whatever, whatever kind of material that is. It's like a soft velvet material on her subculture on the modern Renaissance. And then it's also on the prism palette, which I do have the prism palette. And that's what kind of reminds me of is like the prism, prism palette, like colors and all. Cause like the the wording is in gold. This is black, exactly like the prism. So there you can see right there, uh, exactly a lot alike in the sense of the packaging. It is $27. I did see it was sold out actually. So I don't know if it'll be back up when this video goes up or not, but it was sold out last I saw. Now on the back here, it says, uh, Meet Posh, a makeup artist's go-to palette containing six finishes. With extreme pigmentation, frost, matte, satin, velvet, metallic, and duochrome, we crafted this luxe palette for those who dare to be different and stand out. This pigmented, uniquely colored palette will allow you to express yourself like another uh, combination of shadows. You know, it does have the film cover that a lot of palettes do come with. It does have a mirror, but um, it's not one that's going to actually, you're going to have to set it up against something if, if you take it with you. And here are the eyeshadows, which it does have this golden um, on here. So it's, it's uh, going to glare and reflect off. Reminds me of the Too Faced um, kind of like Graveyard Girl, her palette, and a few others that I have like this. So it will glare somewhat, but right away, these pinks, like this is like a pink color, but the purples and pinks, just the colors in there, that was what at first drew me in, was seeing some of those pretty colors there. And then even this color here, it's like a burgundy plum color. It's really pretty. And now, as you can see, like look at my finger, like how small these shades are here. And there's 12 shades over here. So, and then as you get over here, these look more like a normal size shadow that I've seen in other palettes. And then this is even bigger over here yet, which I'm thinking over here, it's more like the bronzer highlight, but you can do whatever you wish, you know, kind of a thing. But that's my guess is what these are, is bronzer and, high, and highlight. It does have a lot of women names on there. But again, I'm not sure if you're going to really see that. I was curious because I thought I wanted to tell you guys, you know, what size of the shadows, because being these are so small, I was thinking, you know, I wanted to see what size they were. On the back, as I look, it has here a net weight uh, 0.4, is it net weight 0.482 grams, 1.7 ounce. Like I said, these are these are just really small. Now your brush will fit in there. I mean, a regular uh, eyeshadow brush is going to fit in there, you know. And I mean, you're not going to have that problem. Uh, I just don't know how soon you'd hit pan if you continuously used one of the you know colors in there. I mean, so I noticed right away too. I thought it was really cute. Is they have. Over here they have, this is uh, Marilyn and uh, Audrey. And so I thought, are they using the names, you know, the women from, you know, that were real glam, like, you know, uh, vintage beauties out there. And, you know, like Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe and Audrey Hepburn. And then here you have uh, some other names like Meryl, which I was thinking Meryl Streep, that was the first person. Helena, I'm not sure if I can think of the name for that, but there's Helena. There's Ginger, there's Carrie, Elizabeth. Now this, I was wondering if that's like Elizabeth 
Taylor. That is what I, I have on my eyelids. I have Elizabeth on, on my eyelids. And then uh, Winona, Winona or something. It's a black color. And then up here you have like Joan, uh, Sissy, Michelle, Maggie, Emma, Shirley, Judy, Charles, Charles, I think Charles is the name, uh, Bet, uh, Natalie, Anna, Anne, no, yeah, Anne and Grace. Some felt smooth, some felt gritty, but with the finishes, I'm guessing that's probably going to be why. So we're going to swatch, um, and this is Marilyn. Which if, that one feels really smooth, Marilyn. There's Marilyn and Audrey. So Marilyn and Audrey. There's Marilyn and Audrey there. Meryl, which Meryl doesn't feel as soft as Marilyn, maybe a little bit, but there's a little grittiness, but there's Meryl. Um, Ginger, Ginger feels really nice and soft. Does that sound bad when I'm saying that? Uh, Elizabeth, now hers feels gritty. Definitely, but I think it's a metallic shade. So there's the shades right there. Meryl is a duochrome. It's that purple pink color that um, that seems pretty popular. I'll tell you what, Elizabeth is outstanding right there. That's what I have on my eyelids. And you can see Meryl there, like duochrome, like with the pink purple shift and ginger okay then we have Helena up here which feels pretty smooth Helena does uh, Carrie I really like this color it feels a little more rough and Winona um, and it feels just a little bit rough but holy cow this Winona this black be very gentle, careful. These Some of these are very pigmented. I mean, right there. But look at the metallics in there. If they have a whole palette of metallics, I can only imagine, because those, those are pretty awesome. And even on the eyes, like, I didn't even have to wet. So I can only imagine if you did want to wet. But I didn't have to wet mine. So now we're going to go in the smaller ones here. There's Joan, which feels kind of smooth. Um, Sissy, which another one that feels pretty smooth. Uh, Michelle, which is a matte shade, I believe. They are there. It's right there. Joan looks more champagne. Sissy has, this looks like more like a gold champagne. Sissy looks more like a white champagne. And then that lighter color there that's called Michelle. That's a matte. So there's those. And then we get into these colors here, which um, that's Maggie. Maggie. It's a little hard when you're swatching. You are going to make a mess there. Emma, these are more of the purple tones we're getting into, which this one feels a little gritty. Um, Shirley, that feels really gritty. Shirley feels really, really gritty. So there they are. Wow, they're pretty, pretty, pretty. See Maggie right here. That's a duochrome, and it's, it's, it shifts green and yellow in there. It is so pretty. So, so we have Judy, which is like a matte shade, it's that taupe. Um, Charles, pretty sure that's how you say that, Charles, it's a red tone, really pretty red, yeah. And then Bet, which feels kind of gritty, and it's even more of a pretty deeper purple. So there they are there. There's the shades. 
like I said, you can see they don't, um, so I'm using my fingers, I'm not using my brush, but I did notice that when I think Jen loves reviews with some, they did seem to get a little patchy. I didn't have that much of a problem of blending on my eyes or anything. Um, not really. I think the only problem I had was that black. I didn't realize it was that intense. And when I put it in my corner and I was doing live on my Facebook, so you do see me doing some of that, like the look and everything. I just wanted to try Facebook Live just to kind of, you know. Okay, so on the bottom here, we've got Natalie, which feels kind of soft. Anne. Looks like a burnt red or something. And Grace. They all feel kind of really, the Grace feels really smooth. So there they are there. Wow, those are pretty. There we go. That's the last one. Woo, those are pretty. Natalie's that one there. Now, the problem I kept going back and forth was for myself, it's $27. You know, like, is it worth the $27? I think for one, like, packaging is, is a lot to a lot of people. You know, the presentation, the packaging, because I feel like that's somewhere where you know you're paying in for the price maybe for the packaging because i mean you see the i mean it is beautiful it has like gold in here and stuff so it is a really beautiful packaging to the palette but i think the little eyeshadows i think if you put all six of these together would that make one of those i don't know i mean like i said it didn't i don't feel like it really specifies i would have to look later and maybe i can display something if i find anything else out in my video there might be a display somewhere because like basically then you would have six seven eight nine ten ten eyeshadow almost like ten eyeshadows or ten and well these are a little bit bigger um for the price of 27 dollars i mean granted the pigments there there's no joke to that it's designed in the u.s but it's made in um prc you know the uh in china so it is made in China, but it is designed according to this in the U.S. Because um, I know some people sometimes will ask that, you know, or maybe be curious of that. Shades, a lot of shades in here are very beautiful. I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I kept going back and forth. Do I think it's worth the $27? Like, I feel, I feel it's a good palette and I'm glad I got it. And I probably still get it again because I do think it's it's beautiful. I just it's pushing to thirty dollars, and would I think this? I mean, I know their peach one and unicorn one I think is somewhere in that price range. I think is it around thirty dollars for those? I'm not sure. Well, what I think is, I mean, we know drugstore is getting up there. Um, this quality is better than a lot of the drugstore for sure, you know, like the eyeshadow quality. So it is better than drugstore. So it's probably about right in the, in the ballpark of being the price it is. And I believe if you order from there, like $35, you get free shipping and handling. I got mine pretty quick. Uh, I know it's sold out as of now when I, I'm doing this video, but you, I'll put a link down below and you can go check if you're interested and see if it's back in stock. So that's my review guys and swatches. I do give it a thumbs up. I think it's a really nice palette. And like I said, I'm super glad I got it. Have you guys tried anything from Carity? I'm curious to hear because I know they are like one of those uh, brands out there similar to like Morphe and all that kind of stuff uh, floating around. But I wanted to kind of dip in a little bit more with some brands that I have not tried. So let me know what you guys think. I'm going to do a couple shout outs for a couple people here. One being Suzy Q. If you are not subscribed to Suzy Q, I'm going to put a link down below to her channel. Please go check her out. Share some love and subscribe if you like. She is a wonderful, warm person. I enjoy watching. She has her porch set on Sundays around the holidays. She was doing some cooking, sharing some cooking and, and everything. She does a little bit of everything. Uh, like it, you know, she does one of her porch set on Sundays that's to tell some stories of uh, family, you know, get togethers and different things and things that have happened. Um, and 
Also, she does do a lot of beauty things, like she's involved in the beauty community. So she's a little bit of a little bit of everything. So I'm gonna put a link down below to her channel. Please go check her out, show her some love and subscribe. And also Daphne C. Daphne, I've come to uh, find, mm, I think it was sometime in this year, I believe. I believe it was sometime in this year. But she is a beautiful Irish woman. I love listening to her talk and her accent. And um, she does do a lot of uh, beauty related things, does fit well in the mature community. She just has this very soft spoken, beautiful personality. And I just really enjoy watching her. So I'm going to put a link down below to her as well. Please go check her out, show her some love, and subscribe if you like. If you are not subscribed to my channel and you just join me, I would love to have you. Welcome. Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below as well as hit that bell that's right next to the subscribe button. That way you will be notified by email of when my videos are uploaded and ready to watch. If you don't hit that bell, you more than likely won't know when my videos are uploaded and by some way you might miss some of the videos that I have. And if you want to keep the connection or you'd be interested in seeing, make sure you hit the bell and the subscribe button and join me each week. And if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helped me out so much. I very much appreciate that. And make sure you go ahead and share some of my videos. That will also help me get out there and get noticed a little bit more. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, take care. I will see you then. I love you guys. Bye.